Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing on this 13th day of December 2020? Oh, we are almost to Christmas. Okay, so today's artist for our inspirational photo, we are opening the advent for Felicity Yarn Studios Capturing Color and Light 2020 advent. Today I have a new artist to talk about. This artist's name is, I'm going to try to say this correctly, but it, but it, but, 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 Morezo. I think that's how you say her name. It is a woman. When I saw her name, I thought it was Bertha, but I guess it's Berth or Beth or Bert or something. Bert Morezo, Morezo. And I may be saying that wrong. I'm sorry. So I have a hard time. I don't know. I know English. That's a, well, I know American. That's about it. This particular painting is called Young Woman Knitting. This was done in 1883. A little bit more about this artist, this Miss Bert. We're going to just call her Bert. Um, she was born in January 4th, she was born January 14th, 1841, and she died March 2nd, 1895. She was only 54 years old. I went down a rabbit hole with this, looking up the research. She was an artist that was a member of that circle of artists in Paris, um, that were, uh, considered the circle of impressionists that were doing, um, galleries they were they had a lot of different um open galleries and things like that going on at this time she was friends and was also she was friends and associated with Cezanne which we spoke of Degas which we spoke of Monet um Renoir uh, among others um her family was a family of artists. She was born into a family of artists. Her dad was an artist. Her mom was an artist. She was trained privately from a very young age. And then when she was in France in Paris area, she also had other training with um, someone named two brothers. One of them was named Eugene Menet and the other one was, I'm sorry, I forgot his name, but they were brothers and they, she did some training with them. And, um, she ended up marrying Eugene, Eugene Manet. Let's see what else about her. She had a daughter. She died when her daughter was 16. She did a lot of writings. She did a lot of uh, letters that were published. And if you look her up, if you Google her name, which I will read, I will show you the name again. So if you want to take a screenshot of it, you will know how to spell it. If you Google her name, it has all her letters that she wrote to her family, to her sisters. Uh, she even wrote a letter to her daughter, while she was on her deathbed. Um, she spoke of, you know, the artist and the artwork that she had. And there was just, it was just so much. It was a lot of information. And I literally read about her for over 40 minutes, just doing some of the research about this particular artist and about the painting and everything. Um, she just had some beautiful work, but let's get in. Oh, she was also one that was very much into the plein air painting that we spoke of over the last couple of days, the outdoor painting, you know, being outside and painting the outside elements and things like that. Let me re show you. That's the artist's name right here at the bottom. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, you can, look her up if you want to. She has some beautiful artwork. So are you guys ready for day 13 of Felicity Yarn Studios advent for 2020 capturing color and light? I am. This girl is. So let's open her up. I gotta turn it around. Do I have it the right Ooh, very pretty, very pretty. <gasps> Look at these colors. So we are on day 13. Oh, this is beautiful. Tonal greens, cream, beigey, beigey green creams. If 
I don't know how to, I can't even put it into words with a little bit of like blues, purples peeking through there. You see that? And some speckling, which I absolutely love speckling. This is very pretty, very pretty. So let's compare our artwork. Oh yes, yes, you can see. There is our art. Oh no, I unraveled her. <gasps> Hold on, guys. Oh no, I don't want to lose it. Well, you guys get a treat today because I accidentally unraveled her, so I might as well do my usual, huh? And then we'll wrap her back up. What do you think? So we've got some of these beautiful tonal greens really pretty oh that is so pretty what do you guys think huh it is so soft and luxurious this this merino cashmere blend is so nice it's so supple oh i just want to make something and wear it like right now so let me roll this back up okay hold on guys so we don't lose anything I don't know how I did it, but I sure as heck did, didn't I? <laughs> Hold on one second. Oh, and look who's getting better at making Hanks. <laughs> oh, there we go. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. So let's do our comparison. I must have just like played with it with my fingers a little too much or something, huh? Young woman knitting and these beautiful, beautiful colors. Look, look, really pretty. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Very pretty. So what do you guys think? So this is day 13 of Felicity Yarn Studios capturing color and light for the 2020 Advent. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Advent opening. I know I'm enjoying giving you some information about the artists and the paintings that are featured that are her inspirational photos for her advent yarn this year so i hope you guys are enjoying it with me and i hope i'll see you tomorrow for day 14 of another unboxing so i'll be talking to you guys really really soon stay safe and stay healthy and stay creative i'll be talking to you really really soon love you guys